Hey guys, in this video, I'll be going over how you can make your own color LUT for your Instagram filters. So to explain what a color LUT is, LUT stands for Lookup Textures, which are basically a grid table of RGB color values. The purpose of the LUT is to color grade by mapping the colors from the camera and transforms it to a new scene using the colors of the 2D color LUT PNG image. And just as an example for this video, I'll show you how I made this pink color LUT. Here's before and here's after. To start off, you will need to download the base color LUT PNG image, which I will have linked below. And this LUT image is what we will need to start off with. To edit a color LUT, I usually edit it on Lightroom in my desktop or on the app. For this tutorial, I'm going over editing it on the app since it's free to download. So go ahead and download the Lightroom mobile app in your app store and open it up. Import in any photo you have that you can use as a sample. One thing to note when you're editing your photo is to not include any texturing. Color LUTs only get the color information and not the texture. So make sure you don't adjust any of the noise, grain, sharpening, and the vignette. So depending on what you're going for, adjust the light and color tabs to your liking. One thing I like to do is going to this mix tab up here on the right and adjusting each specific colors until I find the right balance. For mine, I'm looking to make a pink, vibrant color grading. Once you're satisfied with the edit, then click on the three dots icon on the top right, then click copy settings. And as I mentioned, we only want the color adjustment, so only have the profile, light, and color check. Next, import in the base LUT image you downloaded, click on the three dots again, and hit paste settings. Then to export, click on the share button, then export as JPEG. Since Lightroom doesn't have a PNG export option, you can easily convert it to any JPEG to PNG converter website. I'm going to quickly transfer this image to my computer first. And I'm just going to use this website and just follow the instructions. Now that we made our own ColorLab PNG image, we can head over to Spark AR and put it all together. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click Add Asset, Import, and ColorLab. One thing I want to mention while we're now in Spark AR is the ColorLab pre-made presets that you can find by going to the library and then ColorLabs here. And as you can see, there's a total of 33 lots that you could use if you ever feel like you just want to add a quick color grading to your filter. Okay, so going back, we can quickly add our color lot by right-clicking, then Actions, and click Apply to Camera. This will automatically add in the whole patch group which you need to have for the color lot to be applied. And you're all set. Since we're using an 8x8 format, we can keep the grid size here. But below, you can adjust the intensity from 0 to 1. If you like adding retouching to your filters as well, then I suggest that you watch my previous video on adding the skin smoothing texture with the LUT. The way you can apply the LUT with the skin smoothing texture is different considering that Spark AR doesn't allow you to use a render pass with the retouching material and you get this error pop up. So the video for that will be there if you need it. If you found this tutorial helpful, then hit the like button and subscribe if you would like to see more tutorials for Spark AR. See you guys on my next video.